What's up, guys? We are in Wyoming. We're at in Wyoming, Darren? Uh, middle of nowhere, Wyoming. <laughs> uh, southern Wyoming, basically. Check it out. It's just the open road and these little hills. They kind of have like a green tint to them. I'm guessing, I, I think it's the sulfur in the, in the ground. Look at them mountains. Mountains. We're going into a tunnel through a mountain. I love tunnels. Into the mountain we go. And we're out. <laughs> I love how they have the adjustable speed limit signs. They yeah. can just change it to whatever they want it to be. Cool. That's how it should be. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's actual like towns and stuff. Look at that. There's stuff. Oh my god. It looks smoky inside too because the windows are black. <laughs> this bus is putting out so much smoke. It's so old. <laughs> All right, so this is something I've never seen anywhere other than Wyoming. These things. See those, like, wooden uh, barricade type things? Uh, if I see another one again in a minute, I'll show you. But they're called windbreakers, right? Uh, that's what I believe they are. I mean, as best as I understand it, they're supposed to be there to break wind so that there's, like, less dust storms uh, yeah. out in the, 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 the area, yeah. so... It's like really dusty out here, so I guess like a, a big dust storm can whip up pretty easy. And that, even though it, it looks like it won't do anything, but Darren's saying that it, it actually does a lot to like prevent a lot of wind like blowing up the dust. Because it's just like, it's like pallets basically like set up at an angle like this, and they'll have like a, a few like spaced out uh, on the sides of the road. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I wish I could explain the science of it any better, but that's just what I've... That's what I've been told since I was young, is that these things are basically there to just kind of block wind on like the, the ground level. So almost like trees do, right? Yeah. So if you're starting to go through like the, the, the Midwest, like through Kansas and stuff, like between all of the different like sections of land, there's like these big like rows of trees. Yeah. And those trees are there to block wind so that you don't get like these crazy dust storms like back in the depression days, uh, like the Dust Bowl and stuff. Like you have devastated people. So uh, yeah. I think that's why they're there, but. But there, it's just, it's weird. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. All right, this is the most of the windscreens that I've seen. It's just like a huge line of them. Or windbreakers, whatever you're gonna call them. You can see that there's like rows of them, one after another. Hey, the window clean. Yep. A lot of bugs in the thing. So many bugs. Stopped to fill up some gas. Look at this place, it's called Crappies. <laughs> oh, that's Cappies. How funny would it be if somebody wrote an R before the for the A. <laughs> I'm gonna go in the store and try to find a snack. Hey, right, that's freaking weird. Cinnamon popcorn. Somebody purposely put that Yuck. there. Yuck. There you go. So we just came up on a lightning storm, uh, like out here in this field, and we decided to stop. Darren's trying to get some slow mo clips of the lightning. Keeps lightning like out over this way. So he's just he's sitting in his field getting some shots. This grass smells so good. Ah, oh, so good. Look at this road. It just goes on and on and on and on. Forever. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what happened, but this clip for some reason didn't have audio, so I'm just voicing over it. Uh, but we were riding like through Wyoming, we seen a ton of smoke. Like I thought it was from just like some controlled fire or something, and then I we got up close to it and it was a wildfire. Like the grass was on fire, some trees. I was right near a couple houses and stuff, so like they were super at risk of getting on fire. And we seen a ton of like fire trucks and stuff. Uh, going to it like in the opposite direction where we are going. Oh, yeah, and here's a rainbow for some reason again The audio didn't work on this clip Hey Lots of it <laughs> You were talking to me or something. Hey, <laughs> what? <laughs> Wyoming We're at the Lusk rest area About to go pee pee <laughs> Whoa I think I caught that yeah. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Uh, we just woke up, or I just woke up. Uh, this is actually the RV we stayed in. This is Brandon's RV. Pretty big and nice inside. I'll probably show you in a little bit. Uh, but I'm actually about to hike to Devil's Tower, which is right there. We're staying at the KOA campground, like right near it. So I'm just gonna hack right over to that thing. Let's go check it out. I don't really have much time because we have to be out of this place by like 11, uh, which is in like less than two hours. 
so I've got to hurry. This thing is big. It's a butte, literally. <laughs> B-U-T-T-E. Devil's Tower, National Monument. Huh, you're supposed to pay for a car to go up there. I wonder if I can just walk up there. I don't know if it's free or not. Oh yeah, it's five bucks. So, glad I brought my wallet. All right, so I paid my five bucks, I'm in. I was actually just asking here because I was like, how long is it at the top? And I guess this road is like three miles to get around to the other side because uh, you come on the back side of it. But she said I could also just take off uh, up through the woods. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. I'm surprised I can actually do that. I was like, wait, I can actually divert off the trail. It's all right. She's like, yeah, just be careful. <laughs> Bell for Shea River, 3,850 feet. I'm kind of excited because after this, uh, once I get back to the campground, we're going to uh, Mount Rushmore, which is somewhere I've always wanted to go. That's one of the like main attractions I've wanted to check out. All right, here we go. Up the hill. <laughs> yeah, Mount Rushmore. That's the uh, big mountain in the United States and Wyoming where all the president's heads are cut out of. Fun fact about this place, because uh, I pretty much read literally the whole Wikipedia page on Devil's Tower. This was the first national monument like ever declared in the United States. So that's pretty cool. They were like, you know what? This deserves to be a monument. This is kind of hard vlogging while walking up a steep hill. <laughs> looks like there's a fire here. Well, I mean, there was. We're not talking it looks like. <laughs> yeah, this grass is, just, all of this is just so dry. Dang, I can see where there's a fire like way up there. Like all the way down through here. This is all burnt. Must've been a while back here though, cause it's already like kind of growing back. Look how close I am. Devil's Tower. I'm gonna walk straight up that, and then I should be should be there once I get through those trees. All right, so a little history on this place. Uh, Devil's Tower, which is actually they, the Indian tribes that live around here, because this is like a, a sacred ceremonial place for this. Like they huddle around this thing and do ceremonies and stuff. Uh, they wanted the name change. They didn't want it to be Devil's Tower because it used to be called or referred to. Well, it was a lot of different names, but. Bears Lodge, Bear Lodge, like again, a much different name. But the United States, once they made it a monument, uh, they've ran like multiple things to try and change the name, and they said no. So it looks like it's staying as Devil's Tower. By the way, no apostrophe in Devil's. There's a weird thing where apparently in monuments they don't put an apostrophe or like in, in geographical things. I didn't know that. If there's an S and you need to put an apostrophe, you don't. So that was kind of interesting. <laughs> but the story of Devil's Tower or Bear Lodge. Uh, there's actually multiple like coming from different tribes and stuff but the first one i read and seemed like the kind of the general theme to most of the stories is a bear i uh, chased either like two girls or two guys Do doesn't really matter two people uh, up to the mountain and when they got to it and when they got to it they climbed to the top of it and got up on like the plateau uh, part uh, like the flat part up top and the mountain after praying rise up in the air uh, to save them from the bear and if you look see the like what looks like marks down the side that's supposed to be uh, the bears like claws trying to to go up the mountain there's also another thing which wasn't like a bear it was something like a bear but it had like apparently even crazier claws it is kind of interesting like how the rock shaped like that like all those lines in it it's kind of like only right in the middle see the top it kind of stops and then at the bottom, it's just like regular rock too. But yeah, like, I wonder what made it form like that. Obviously, it wasn't a bear. No disrespect to their legends or whatever, but <laughs> I don't think a bear would do that. Holy crap, this is the biggest dandelion I've ever seen. Ah, oh, I just ruined a lot of it. Oh, snap. Do I get a really big wish? <laughs> I've seen like one or two of those, but yeah, they're freaking huge. I'm here. Devil's Tower is right ahead through these trees where it looks like a bear could be. I really don't want to see a grizzly bear. That's what they said was out here, grizzly bears. I've heard those aren't very nice to people. <laughs> and there we are, Devil's Tower. Boom, oh God, I about fell back trying to look over this thing. It's so big, and look how many rocks have fallen off this thing, like right here. Huge, gigantic, just like tons of them. There's tons of little pieces everywhere too. Okay, I don't know what kind of bug that is, but I don't want you on my leg. Yeah, there's just like pieces of rock everywhere. All right, I'm going up to the tower gotta touch it then i think i'm gonna head around to that side so i can check out the view from over there some of these rocks are like loose too you know step on it and think it's gonna be solid but it's not dang that looks really weird it does look like something like it looks like a machine took that out or something like how perfectly it's cut maybe it was some kind of monster's claws <sighs> oh there's that stuff that smells really good I need to figure out what it's called but i love the smell of it 
Boom. I did it. Touch the tower. Whoa, look at the view out there. It's pretty crazy, you can see like a big open field out right that way. One thing I found that I love about Wyoming, which I didn't expect at all, is the grass here smells amazing. Uh, yesterday when we were pulling over, like driving through, like we were just pulling over the side of the road and like the grass smells so good compared to any other grass I've ever smelled. It's like that weed grass stuff, but the, I don't know, I can't even describe the smell. But just imagine grass that smells amazing. Not like normal green grass, like wheat grass, like out in a field. I'm getting overwhelmed by the smells right here with all that stuff. Somebody tell me what that is. I don't know. It smells really strong. All right, I did it, guys. Now I'm going to head back, and we're going to Mount Rushmore. Let's do it. Pretty sure that's some kind of rattlesnake. I just walked over it. I don't see anything, though. Dang, it's loud. It's like warning me. It's like, get away. Right? That's a rattlesnake. I don't think I want to find out. Okay, yeah, dude. <laughs> Probably sitting up under that rock. Hello, hello. Hey guys. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Mount Rushmore. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Super into that, yeah. This is the RV. Really nice. Spacious. Yep. Right, I'll bring the from the car. That's pretty cool. The table disappears. Oh, does this like section right here little, come in? Your little photo was pretty sweet. I'm a good photographer. Yeah, you are. <laughs> there you go. It's my next profession. I'm going to quit YouTube to do photography. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I hanging out with these PC users? Look at this. One, two. Look at Brandon in editing mode right now. I don't think you can hear me. He's into it. <laughs> That's Brandon's editing face. <laughs> All right, so we just headed out of Devil's Tower. Now we are on our way to Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. We have somebody to join us. DJ. <laughs> You guys are watching Gizmo Slip, you've probably seen him. Uh, Brandon and Sarah are in the RV right in front of us. But yeah, riding through Wyoming, headed to Mount Rushmore. Go check out some president's faces on a mountain. There's the sign. We are close. We are getting close, yes we are. We also decided to pick up some more hitchhikers. <laughs> Damn, Homeless people. Yeah, they just jumped in. Damn, freeloaders. <laughs> I bet everything here is like twice the price as normal. Sure. This is a little town where Mount Rushmore's up. They've just got like as many shops as possible packed into this area. For my sharp right. There they are. The one on the right, his face kind of looks funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's, oh, it's Abe. He just kind of like. <laughs> They all kind of look like that. None of them are smiling. <laughs> like, look at George Washington. He is frowning. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Abe Lincoln, the original duck face. <laughs> He's vlogging from an iPad. What's <laughs> up, pros vlog? Definitely a life changing experience. Right? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to walk away here a different person. That's what it said on the signs, like coming in. Life changing experience. This is weird. Seeing, like, people's faces in a rock like that. We all just come to places and just take out our phones and look through these now. That's what everybody does. Nobody actually enjoys the thing. We're all just looking through our phones. And I'm doing it right now. <laughs> yep. What do you think, Darren? Um, I don't know if I can hear you yet. What'd you say? Text it to me. <laughs> we tried the uh, GPS. Pokemon going. Yep. These guys. <laughs> I tried it. I downloaded it, but... I have like two Pokemon. I'm not a good Pokemon master. I used to be when I was a little kid, but not anymore. <laughs> so How many Pokemon do you have? Uh, 16 now. 16. Pretty good. Yeah. You, you gotta step it up though, we're traveling. What? You should have more by now. I know, you really should. <laughs> oh, we're right on top of the gym, that's pretty cool. Tap the Pokeballs. Hey, you gotta oh, get them, they're gonna, oh, they're gonna burst. I got a Pokemon. Or they're not gonna burst. <laughs> Where's the Pokemon? You got four Pokemon Watch balls. Out, we got oh, cool. All I think about is National Treasure when I see this. Because Nick Cage was standing up there. <laughs> There's like a rock he put his, uh, or a hole he put his hand in. Who remembers that scene? National Treasure. Was that the second one or first one? I don't even remember. Brandon has been recognized. <laughs> or these guys have. <laughs> 
Let's do a drop test right now. <laughs> do it, do it for the subscriber. You gotta do it for the viewers. Give them what they want. <laughs>